Ashley. I'm in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and I'm about to test my taste buds with some authentic barbecue here at Blue Tractor Brewery. Mmm, I can smell it right now. Let's go inside. My friends and I went on a Friday night, and it was obviously very busy. Rather than wait at the bar upstairs, we decided to grab a drink at MASH, the downstairs lounge. The dark lighting and the live music set a great tone for the start of our night. I started out with a hard cider called Nomad. The local beverage brewed in Traverse City, Michigan had sweet notes with a dry finish. For an appetizer, my friends decided to go with the skillet dip. Melted cheese topped off with chives and pulled pork. Although my lactose belly couldn't handle it, that certainly didn't stop my friends from chowing down. After about a half an hour wait, we're up here, we're ready to order, and look, they even have a special gluten-free menu. After looking it over, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to go with this Carolina pulled pork. It sounds awesome, and you just can't beat pulled pork. After we placed our orders, I'll be inside triple mac and cheese. we caught up on each other's lives with a round of drinks. Unfortunately, they don't have any gluten-free beer, so I decided to have a free dinner cocktail. This one is the Jewel Tart. It has gin in it, which is my favorite. It also has some grapefruit juice and some Campari, which I love. It also has a hint of lime juice and this rock salt around it makes it fantastic. It tastes exactly like cotton candy, which, I mean, how can you be that? Our food arrived in no time, and I couldn't wait to dig into my pulled pork red skin mashed potatoes, green beans with bacon, and cheddar grits. Sure, the grits don't exactly fit into my dairy-free diet, but it was too good to pass up. Now, no barbecue is complete without sauce, and Blue Tractor offers four unique flavors. Tomato, smoky and sweet, mustard, and a gluten-free vinegar style. That made my choice pretty easy. It's really good. The meal was more than I could have asked for. I was completely stuffed and left no room for dessert. I did get to speak with a sous chef meal and he described it perfectly. He said that they tried to use a simple southern barbecue experience and that's exactly what they did. I loved it. We had a great time. Bon Appetit from the Elite Beat. For more of my foodie adventures, visit theelitebeat.com.